Hello fellow Anami lovers, in today's video we're counting down the top Anami, where the main character loses control and goes psycho. If you are new to this channel feel free to hit that subscribe button for more Anami content like this. So without further ado, let's get started. In a post-apocalyptic world overrun with mutated beasts called Limbikun or filth monsters, humanity is forced to live in large mobile cities called Regios and learn to use special weapons called Dai by harnessing the power of K to defend themselves. In the academy city of Zwelny, Lathan Alsif is hoping to start a new life and forget his past. However, his past has caught the attention of Karian Loss, the manipulative student council president and Nina Antic, a military arts student and captain of the 17th Military Arts Platoon, who instantly recognizes his abilities and decides he's the perfect candidate to join her group. However, with a secret past that won't leave him alone and unknown powers beyond normal, Lathan just might not take it. Madaka Kurakami is, in the truest sense of the word, perfect. Beautiful, intelligent, and athletic, Madaka's dream is to make others happy. So when she runs for student council president of the prestigious Hakanua Academy, winning the election with 98% of the votes is only to be expected. The very first thing the boisterous new president does is set up the Madaka box, a suggestion box allowing students to submit any kind of request for assistance, together with the cynical Zinkichi Hidoyashi, her childhood friend who has been strong-armed into helping, Madaka fulfills these requests at a ridiculous rate. For every job completed, she adds flowers to the student council room, with the aim of filling the entire school. However, the two are about to find out that helping others may be a lot harder than they think, as they begin to uncover a devastating plan centering on the academy and even Madaka herself. In the 71st year of the true era, humans have successfully expanded into space and have started living in independent galactic colonies. The world itself is split between two major nations. The Atlantic Rim United States, a Rus, and the Dorsha Military Pact Federation, Dorsha superpowers that wage war against each other on Earth and far into outer space. In this war-torn era, a third faction comprised of Japan and islands of the Athenian Republic, Jir, reside peacefully and prosper economically, maintaining neutrality between themselves and their militant neighbors. Kakimiki Valvrov commences in an outer space Jir colony, where 17-year-old Haruto Takashima's peaceful life is turned upside down as a sudden Dorshan fleet breaches the neutral colony. Their objective is to seize the Valvers. Powerful, but rumored mechanized weapons hidden deep within Haruto's school, Sakamori Academy. In the ensuing chaos, Haruto stumbles upon one of the targeted Valvers. With his friends' lives in peril, Haruto enters the mecha and seals a contract for its power in exchange for his humanity. With the aid of El Elf and enigmatic Dorshan agent and gifted strategist Haruto and the Valvra initiate a revolution to liberate the world. Japan, 2039. Ten years after the outbreak of the apocalypse virus, an event solemnly regarded as Lost Christmas, the once proud nation has fallen under the rule of the GHQ, an independent military force dedicated to restoring order. Funeral Parlor, a guerrilla group led by the infamous Gai Tsutsugami, act as freedom fighters, offering the only resistance to GHQ's cruel despotism. Inori Yuzura, a key member of Funeral Parlor, runs into the weak and unsociable Shu Aoma during a crucial operation, which results in him obtaining the power of kings and ability, which allows the wielder to draw out the manifestations of an individual's personality, or voids. Now an unwilling participant in the struggle against GHQ, Shu must learn to control his newfound power if he is to help take back Japan once and for all. Guilty Crown follows the action-packed story of a young high school student who is dragged into a war, possessing an ability that will help him uncover the secrets of the GHQ funeral parlor and lost Christmas. However, he will soon learn that the truth comes at a far greater price than he could have ever imagined. When an extraterrestrial organism known as Savage attacks mankind, the only technology capable of combating the enemy is a weapon known as Hundred. A survivor of a Savage attack, Hayato Kisaragi is a teenager boasting the highest compatibility level with the aforementioned technology, and as a result, is invited to master his skills at Little Garden, a prestigious military academy aboard a battleship. 
Over the course of his intense training for the battle ahead, he immediately attracts the interest of multiple female peers and gets drawn into a number of incidents as he tries to fight against the creatures that now inhabit Earth and threaten its safety. Magano, a parallel realm filled with monsters known as Kegger, is a place where exorcists deal with all impurities. Vino Adashino is a prodigy exorcist who is recognized for her strength and is summoned to Tokyo by the Exorcist Union. On her way, she plummets into the arms of Rikuro Enmadu, a young exorcist with a troubled past. But the impurities of Magano do not rest. When these two exorcists witness a couple of children stolen by a Kegger, Vino rushes to save them, dragging Rikuro along with her into Magano. Engaged in a fight she is on the verge of being defeated in, Vino is saved by Rikuro, revealing himself capable of being her rival in talent. Sousa no on Miyauji tells the story of two talented exorcists who are destined to become the twin star exorcists and the prophesized parents of the Maiko, the reincarnation of Abe no Seime, who will cleanse the world of all impurities. <music> Alma Tandoji lives a lonely life. One day, Ruri Alba, a girl accompanied by her butler and maids, visits him. Knowing the power of Sacred Seven is latent within Alma, she asks him to lend her his powers. However, he refuses and drives her away since he injured many with his unusual strength in the past. Meanwhile, a fiendish dark stone creature suddenly appears in this peaceful town in the Kanto region. Only Alma's power of Sacred Seven can fight against it. But Alma just lets his power run amok, and things begin to get worse. Ruri raised her gemstone in order to release his true abilities, my soul I give to you. With Ruri's wishes engraved in it, will Alma be able to defeat the Dark Stone? <laughs> Eighth grader Shijio Mob Kajayama has tapped into his inner wellspring of psychic prowess at a young age. But the power quickly proves to be a liability when he realizes the potential danger in his skills. Choosing to suppress his power, Mob's only present use for his ability is to impress his longtime crush, Subomi, who soon grows bored of the same tricks. In order to effectuate control on his skills, Mob enlists himself under the wing of Arataka Ryijin, a con artist claiming to be a psychic, who exploits Mob's powers for pocket change. Now, exercising evil spirits on command has become a part of Mob's daily, monotonous life. However, the psychic energy he exerts is barely the tip of the iceberg, if his vast potential and unrestrained emotions run berserk, a cataclysmic event that would render him completely unrecognizable will be triggered. The progression toward Mob's explosion is rising, and attempting to stop it is futile. Alpha Stigma are known to be eyes that can analyze all types of magic. However, they are more infamously known as cursed eyes that can only bring destruction and death to others. Reiner Lute, a talented mage and also an Alpha Stigma bearer, was once a student of the Roland Empire's Magician Academy, an elite school dedicated to training magicians for military purposes. However, after many of his classmates died in a war, he makes an oath to make the nation a more orderly and peaceful place, with fellow survivor and best friend, Sianna Steele. Now that Sian is the the king of Roland, he orders Reiner to search for useful relics that will aid the nation. Together with Ferris Eris, a beautiful and highly skilled swordswoman, Reiner goes on a journey to search for relics of legendary heroes from the past and also uncover the secrets behind his cursed eyes. While on the surface Yuu Otosaka appears to be just another charming and intelligent teenager, he has a secret he has the ability to slip into people's minds and fully control their body for 5 seconds at a time. Yuu has been using this skill for years to gain the highest grades, which allowed him to enter a prestigious high school. When the enigmatic Naoto Mori catches Yuu using his power, she coerces him and his sister Ayumi into transferring to Hashinaomi Academy, a school for students with supernatural abilities. The student council of the school, led by now, is tasked with secretly tracking down adolescents who abuse their powers. Yu is forced to join the student council, and together, they face formidable challenges that bring him closer to the shocking truth that his own, seemingly incomplete ability, might be more powerful than he could have ever imagined. An original story from June Mita, creator of Angel Beats and Clanet, Charlotte, explores the supernatural lives of these teenagers and the price they must pay for being special.